I wanted to say thank you guys for all of you who've been watching my videos. I got finally monetized and yeah, this is just the start. Today I'll be actually showing you how to build beautiful website with Framer and how to make sure that you use all the AI capabilities. We're going to connect it to make.com, basically automation platform, backend platform without coding. You can automate here anything. Today I will be building portfolio website and this can be actually done for any website, whether it's a startup, business. I'm going to be using a theme and then using AI, customizing all of the text, everything for our website and creating a form that will send to make.com and create specific questions for the client based on the project description that they input in this form. And it will be sent in via Google form to them. So they will answer the project's questions before going on a call with you or before doing some sort of uh, another reach out message that you do. And yeah, so as I've said, this will be can be done for any type of website, but for portfolios, it will work the best. So the first step is we'll be using all of the templates that Framer have. It's very important to use something that is here, not try to create something for free because I've been doing websites for more than 10 years. I've been doing a lot of custom websites. I've been featured in uh, different design awards stuff, but I think that creating custom websites in today's age is completely waste of time and waste of clients' money, waste of your money, because there is a lot of free tools a lot of paid tools as well but if you learn how to customize them and how to use them you will be way above and far from your competitors in terms of speed in terms of deliverability and quality of work if you want to have access to my no code platform that you can build website just using prompts you can sign up to the waitlist to join the waitlist and the first 100 users will get to try the platform for free so make sure to sign up and be the first users to try when it comes up so since we're going to be building a portfolio i'm going to click on any of these and then i'm going to choose portfolio here this will allow me just to filter all the websites that i don't really need and find ones that i do need so for now i'm just going to click through them scroll through them and find a website that i like so for example this one is paid we don't really need that we're going to click free Obviously, if you're building it for yourself or a client, you can even pay for templates. It's totally fine, but let's, it's totally fine. But let's choose this, for example. Let's preview it and see how it looks like. So if I preview, I can see that it is in white colors, which I don't really like. I want the website to be in dark colors. So I'm going to be, um, keep looking here. And, uh, for example, this one or... This one is pretty cool, so I'm gonna click use for free. And here I don't really need to have any design or development skills. What I'm going to do is use plugin to rewrite all of the text for me. So it will literally take me less than a few seconds to customize this website for myself. Obviously then I would need to update all of the images, all of the portfolio elements. But again, this is just a demonstration. So we're going to be Working with the text, let's scroll through these pages and see what sections we don't really need. We don't really need the testimonials and uh, let's keep it like this. So for example, for to not spend a lot of times, I'm just gonna click plugins here and I'm gonna click AI rewrite. And here I can just paste information about me. So let's say I'm Victor, senior framework, the flow developer, designer, CRO, I've successfully designed blah, 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 blah. Just basically information about you. You can just put it on any website. It works for any website. So I'm just going to click edit section. So it's rewritten the text. I'll need to go and fix a few things here. Like here we have uh, three lines instead of two. Let's just delete C row here. So we will have two lines. And I uh, have it like this. 50 framer site launch. Why can Madera clients affiliate it? Yeah, everything I've described here, it actually writes that exclusively focused. Let's just make sure that it's from the new line here. Select the product design gallery you want to work together. Yeah, everything works well here. So let's just close it. And uh, now let's add a form that will be sent to make.com. So here I can click Control K and click form or just insert and form builder. It's pretty straightforward. So what I'm going to do is just add a form. Let's get rid of location. And for the name, we're going to say project 
project description. And let's just set it for placeholder as well and text area will be here. Now what I can do is connect it to a make.com using webhook. So in Framer there's standard function for this. It has a webhook so all you have to do is just put the API here and to create API it's two clicks. First you click on plus after you register on make.com which is free. Then you add webhooks here and custom webhook for receiving data. Click add here to add a new webhook. You don't need to put anything here. Just click save and now copy address to clipboard. And let's go back to Framer and input the address here. So now what I can do is just test if the content is going to make that come. Let's put test gmail.com and send it and see if it's actually displaying here. Oh, I forgot to actually click run once. Let's save it and now click run once. And it's waiting data now. So let's do the same thing play test test gmail.com send it and it's actually displaying it here so the next step would be to create a child gpt completion so let's go to open ai create a completion if you're doing this the first time you will need to go to open ai and connect your api address it is paid but if you don't want to pay you can use gemini api address it is free but since I have this connected, I'm going to be using this. For the message, I'm going to just give it a prompt. So user and text content will be act as a web designer based on the project description below. Create four relevant questions for the client. And here is a project description based on the project description above. Similar to these examples, of course, here is uh, tra the transcripted form that oh, let's not have that. To these examples and here we have basically examples of good questions that should be sent because if you don't provide this it's going to hallucinate it's going to generate some bullshit that you don't really need it so now i'm going to click save here and let's let's add a final step of our uh, completion is a google form so here i'll need to connect google form so we'll create a new form and basically this form will be sent to the client with all of the questions let's name it client question or near something like that i'm not sure if that's the correct way to pronounce it and items is basically the questions so we're going to be using the title that we get from openai so here we can get rid of this for now and just get just get the questions that openai written for us so now we have the questions here and let's go here Title one will have will be a question one. So here we have a list of questions, list of results, which are not parsed as JSON because I forgot to mention that, not to mention, but to input that you, you will need to click. We did mention that the question should be in JSON file. So, but we didn't put in the settings. Here we can click JSON objects and parse JSON, yes. And now what, once this is done, we can click the title here and the click run one more time. So we have the new generated questions. And now in the title, we can click results. For some reason, it still gives us, uh, let's just delete the form and create a new form. So let's get rid of this mojo. Google Forms, create a form, title of the form. Yeah, now we have that correctly. Client questionnaire. Let's create a new question. The first question will be question one. Question item required, yes. Question type, just text choice. Paragraph, yes. Add a new one. Question two. Uh, question item required, yes. Question type, text question. Paragraph, yes. Do third one. Question three. So it will be creating actually new questions for every client and we'll, we'll be actually a, uh, creating this a new form as well. So it will be sending a new form. So question item, choice question, text question we have here, paragraph yes. And the final would be the first question, the fourth description we don't need, question item required yes, question type text question. 
And then we have four questions that would be repeating for every client. The idea is to get them hooked on these questions with four, first, uh, four personal questions that are very tailored to their project. But then we would have some general questions that we would ideally need their answer for. But if we start with them, the client might say, oh, it's not really like, I don't really know how to, or I don't really want to answer these questions. A lot of clients don't want to answer just generic questions that you send to them, that you send to every client. The fifth question would be this, do you have a mission statement or tagline? This would be actually to get us some ideas on to the copywriting stuff. Let's do it. Required project type text questions, paragraph, not really. The sixth question would be, List three competitors to watch in your industry. Or now that I think I think I have a better question. So can you share also can you also share some of the website designs that you like? Same industry or different? I think that would be more beneficial for me. Uh, the next Im item type question item required, yes, question type, text questions. Next question is, do you have any color preferences or colors that you would like to stay away from? Let's say it's not really required. Text questions. Not. And the final question would be, is there anything else you'd like me to know before we get started? So just a general question, allow a client to add anything that they want. So question items, item, this will not be required. And this would be just text questions and paragraph. Let's say yes, if they wanted to write something more. So now we click save and now let's run this all thing together. So click run once, go back to our framer form. Let's refresh it. Let's say we want a website for design studio in California that builds websites with framer in just three days. I need a website and let's put test mail.com and let's click submit go back to framer and we see that it's already created a question and it created a form so let's see our form here we can go to web url let's open it up here and see what kind of question is created can you specify the primary goal of the purpose of the landing page who is your target audience and who do you profile specific personas minds? Can you share some examples of website or designs that you like within your industry? Uh, what kind of these questions are? Do you have mission statement or tagline? I don't think it did create the right questions for us. So let's see results. I think we say that each follow two exactly questions like that, but don't really need for everybody. Oh yeah, we didn't put actually the project description here. Yeah, that's why. So let's try it again. Let's copy this thing here. I need a website for in just three days. Let's click run once. Go back here. Project test gmail.com submit and let's see what it creates so you can see that it's already creating questions so let's see if they're any different this time let's preview it here can you please specify the primary goal of the website for your california based design studio yes this is customized are there any specific design styles of the websites built with framework that you admire or want to draw inspiration from who is your target audience and what key messages do you want the website to communicate to them what are the three must of pages or sections you want to feature on your websites so the only thing that yeah they're different they have as you can see, it created perfect questions. So now we can just send it to their email. The last step would be to create a Gmail module. And for now, we can either send an email or create a draft. So I'm going to create a draft for now. And let's do folder drafts. Let's choose drafts folder. Create for my account. Let's use drafts here. And the receipt would be, let's do my account, uh, not my, 
yeah let's do the email here so we're going to use test email subject thanks for your interest and the content will be before we begin i'd like to ask you a few questions do take your time to fill in as much details as possible thanks just a basic random email and for the links we will include this link here so respond to your url and let's just click save and let's just run once one more time so we're going to go to framer we're going to click play we're going to put the same information put my email here and submit so now let's go to the email and see if it created the draft let's go to drafts here and as you can see that it did create it so thank you for interest and here is the form that i can click for and go here uh, let me know if you'd like this video and if you'd like to get more videos about make.com and framer automations and thank you for watching